everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video you know guys i have suddenly realized that it's been a while since i made the last glow in the dark doll and it's a pity because i really love my glow in the dark dolls they're always super special and that's why today i've decided to make a glow in the dark moth I've made a ready mod doll a couple of years ago here on my channel and that doll was really beautiful I think it was one of the most beautiful dolls here on my channel that doll really stood out uh, She had those beautiful wings made out of silk and I painted the wings on the silk and today I want to continue experimenting with this painting on silk technology But this time I am going to make it all glow in the dark I think it's gonna be very cool and I've actually prepared a very special model like everything is very special today so I've prepared a very special doll model for this makeover really I cannot wait to show you because I didn't even know this kind of monster high doll existed in our universe so it's gonna be a very 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 exciting project today so guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and of course, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And now, guys, we are going to start the transformation. But actually, before I start the makeover, I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Skillshare. And you know, guys, I'm really excited starting this new year with my favorite online learning community. I discovered Skillshare around four years ago I was looking for an extensive guide to procreate a digital illustration app and I ended up feeling like a pro after following a brew glazers class intro to procreate illustrating on iPad and since then I've been using Skillshare literally all the time to learn something new to improve my art to improve my business to learn some new art techniques to become better at photography and video editing to improve my time managing skills and to be able to produce more content while being less tired and having more time for myself and I'm really glad to see that Skillshare keeps growing and developing because many of you may know Skillshare for classes in photography film and video editing and illustration but actually they offer hundreds of career focused classes as well and since the new year is a perfect time to reinvent your goals in your life you can use Skillshare to learn how to design a career to fit you because not everyone is happy with their traditional 9 to 5 jobs on Skillshare you can explore your creative and career options and learn what it takes to break into a creative industry. You can also take classes to find your creative voice and style and also to gain more financial stability. For this I can recommend a couple of classes that I followed myself lately. The first one is Productivity for Creators, Systems, Organization and Workflow by Ali Abdal. And this is already my second productivity class by Ali that I follow on Skillshare share and I find that it really works for me after his classes I can really keep my routine more structured and I simply feel like I have enough time and energy for all my projects and another class that I really enjoyed lately is called just make stuff getting creative with side projects by Jessica Walsh and Timothy Goodman Jessica and Timothy are very successful designers both so I found their creative secrets and exercises very useful and very interesting Interesting. And my main career goal in 2023 is to finally make my own BGD doll and for this I'm also following a class on Skillshare It's called 3D character design and nomad sculpt by Dave Fried. I've already finished his beginners course learning how to use the nomad program and now I'm already like on the next step It's a very big and ambitious dream of course making your own doll But I hope I will get there step by step class by class lesson by lesson so and if you want to try Skillshare you can do it completely for free right now because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so go there and check it out so thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this week's video and now guys let's dive into the doll transformation 
So, and here is the model for this makeover. Just look at this beautiful moth monster hide doll. I didn't know this kind of doll even existed. I don't know, she's so beautiful. Look at her beautiful body, at all these details. This is such a unique doll. I've been keeping her for a very long time for some special project, and today is finally the day. She will stay a lady moth, but I will make her all glowy and very special in the end. So now let's cut her hair off and do all these things that I usually do in the beginning of my videos. And by the way, I don't really know the name of this character. If you know what is this doll's original name, what kind of Monster High character this is, please write it down in the comments. Okay, everything is gone. Her old lipstick has left some serious staining. You can see it here all over around her mouth. But I think I will be able to fix it with some soft pastels. But right now I want to work on her hair. I want to give her glow in the dark hair and I will probably combine this blue mint hair with some strands of white. I think it will look really good on her. But first of all, I need to cover her head with layer of white acrylics and then with a couple of layers of glow in the dark paint. And then after this, I will give her this new hair using my rerouting tool. This is her beautiful new hair. I think she will look so good with it in the end. But right now I still need to add glue inside of the head to keep all this hair in place. Then I will let it dry for a couple of days and then I will spray her face with Mr. Super Clear Sealant to be able to start drawing on her face. So I have two goals today regarding her skin tone and first of all I want to cover all these stains. You can see the red around her lips and there is also some black marker stains on her chin. So I'm going to cover it all. 
And then I need to change her skin color from this bright pink into something very pale, something grayish white with a light purple tint. And it means I'll have to do some pastel layering today using the Mr. Super Clear sealant between the layers. So the skin looks great, all the stains are gone and it means I can start working on the rest of her face and I want her to have very bright green eye shadows and also super bright piercing eyes. I want her eyes to look like they're glowing even when the light is on. She will wear a mask, so I will draw eyelashes this time, otherwise I won't be able to put a mask on top of giant falsies. Ok, 
Okay, the face looks amazing. I will bash her body a little bit later because I still need to make an outfit for her and her body is slightly bigger than regular Monster High bodies. So now let's work on her outfit, accessories and all those things. And I want to start actually with the mask since I've already mentioned the mask in this video. And I want to be the moth mask, something absolutely terrifying and beautiful at the same time. And I start with making a base out of Warbler Thermoplastic. So this is the base, it looks already very promising and now I want to add texture to it using a single layer of a paper towel. I let it dry overnight and after this our future moth mask is all ready to get painted and I start with covering it with some soft pastels. Then I apply a couple of layers of glow in the dark paint. So this is how it looks so far, everything is going really good, but we are not done yet, of course. And right now I want to sculpt a pair of eyes out of this glow-in-the-dark clay. And I want these eyes to be super big, like real moth eyes. I will glue them to the mask a little bit later and right now I will take a piece of white fur and I will cover my moth mask with all these white fibers. I want it to look fluffy like moth's face.
dry and I can work some more on the eyes and I want to cover them with a piece of black mesh to make it look even more like insect eyes. When all this glue is dry, I can glue the eyes to the mask and I also want to add some shadows with soft pastels to make it look even more like a bot. I will also attach a piece of an elastic, it will hold the mask on the doll's head and after this we are done with the mask. and it looks exactly like I want it. It's very beautiful and absolutely terrifying at the same time. So I'm very happy about it. Look at this super scary mask. Really very happy about it. So now let's make a pair of beautiful lightweight wings using a piece of natural silk. And for this I'm starting with stretching this fabric onto this frame because this fabric needs to be really well stretched. Then I'm taking the special paint to work on silk and I'm mixing a color that would look like a glow-in-the-dark paint, you know, kind of yellowish, greenish color, something ghostly. <laughs> And I'm covering my silk with a couple of layers of this paint. So this is what I've made so far, now I'm going to take glow-in-the-dark paint and you can see that this color is a really good match and I will seriously dilute it with water, it should be more water than paint. And then I will cover my piece of silk with a couple of layers of this glow-in-the-dark water, or watered down paint. Hopefully I will get a slightly glowing fabric that doesn't feel too crunchy as a result. Okay, this is how it looks after applying a couple of layers So it. Uh, check it out, I'm really happy about it. I've got this beautiful ghostly glowing fabric, it looks really cool. So now I can take a picture of wings, I'm going to put it into this frame and then I will paint the wings on this silk fabric first with white acrylics and then with glow-in-the-dark paint.
then I will add a layer of blue iridescent paint on top of it to make my wings more shiny. Oh guys, it took a while with all these layers, they require really long drying. But look how beautiful the wings are, and what is the most important, look how they glow in the dark. Oh my god, this is pure magic, so pretty. So, now I still need to make a pin that will connect the wings to the body, and I will use Warbler thermoplastic for it. And then I will also add some of this fur fluff to the middle of the wings. Okay, now is the moment of truth. Let's disconnect the silk from the frame and let's see what I've got. Well guys, I have bad news actually, all this glow in the dark paint has made the wings more heavy, it was predictable, but now they just don't want to stand up, they're absolutely beautiful hanging wings, she can like wrap herself in them, it's all very good and pretty, but I want my wings to work both up and down, like open and closed. So, I will have to find some sort of a solution, I don't know, some removable wings support or something like this. I think I will use this see-through warbler thermoplastic for it, and I will make something like a frame for the top of the wings. So this is what I've made and you know, I think it works. I can perfectly keep her wings open and this plastic frame is not really visible, I'm very satisfied about it. And then I can remove this frame and use the wings in some different styles. So nice, I'm really happy it all worked out because I was a little bit stressed out <laughs> in the beginning, but it looks really good. So, now let's make an outfit for her, and I want her beautiful body structure to be exposed and visible. So, I will make a corset for her out of Warbler Thermoplastic.
So this is the base corset and now let's paint it grey. And now guys, check it out, look what I've got. These are glow-in-the-dark nail stickers. Aren't they amazing? All these tiny glowing butterflies and flowers and leaves. I simply adore them, really. They're so pretty. I bought them on AliExpress a while ago, really, like years ago, especially for this project, and now it's finally time to use them. So now I'm going to glue these stickers to her corset to create a seamless pattern. And look at this corset, look at this corset, it's all finished and it looks so pretty, like a beautiful lace and all this beauty looks even more impressive in the dark. I'm literally obsessed, this is probably the prettiest thing I've ever made, really so pretty, love it. Now let's complete her look with a lace skirt, I think it will look absolutely great with the corset. This is it, her outfit is almost finished, I don't know, it all looks so sophisticated in some way, I absolutely love it. Now she still needs a pair of shoes and I've decided to customize this pair of Monster High shoes to make them more sparkly and of course to make them glow in the dark. I've got this amazing glow-in-the-dark glitter. This is really the glowiest thing in my glow-in-the-dark collection. And I think it will look amazing on her shoes. And here is the pair of sparkly glow-in-the-dark shoes. It will bring some sparkle to her look. And the glow is just amazing, look at them, how bright they are shining in the dark. So we are slowly getting there, but we are not done yet, guys. First of all, I need to paint her body to make it the same color as her face, so let's do it quickly.
And I was already going to style her hair, but I've just realized that I've forgotten to paint her ears, or what do you call these things on moth hats? So it's kind of an extra step for me, but then I will finally move on to her hair. So, hair time. I want her to wear her hair down, I want her to be kind of covered in waves of her own glowing hair, so now I will give her some cute waves. This is where I've ended up with it, so I already was going to say that we were done for today, but I've decided to work some extra on her skirt. I want to take this super glowy glitter and I want to attach it to the dots on the lace. Her skirt is the only non-glowy element in the entire look and I felt like something was missing. Yes, now it's absolutely perfect, beautiful in the daylight as well as in the dark, really perfect. I'm very happy I took time to do it. So, and now it's finally a moment to reveal the end result pictures. And this is my beautiful glow-in-the-dark moth. She is officially the glowiest doll I've ever made. Every single element of her look is glowing like a UFO. I'm really super happy. I can really see someone displaying this doll under black lights in their space. It would be so pretty. Of course, it wasn't the easiest doll to make. Glow-in-the-dark dolls are quite difficult to make because you want them to look good both in the dark and in the light. But I think it worked. Plus, I had some difficulties with the wings this time, so I'm also very happy it all got solved. The creepy moth mask gives her some special spooky vibes, I really like it. The wings look really great, her outfit is super cute, I especially love the corset, but her skirt is also really pretty after I added all this glowing glitter. Her face looks great, she's very pretty, but you can also see that she isn't an easy character. So I'm very happy with this doll, she's indeed a very special one. So, and now I would love to hear your thoughts about this project. What do you think about everything I've made today? I'm really curious to hear your opinion. And if you're thinking about buying this doll, you can check out my eBay. This doll is right now for sale there for three days with two other dolls. Unfortunately, the Christmas Elf and also Rapunzel dolls were not paid by people who won the auctions. So they're back to stock and you can check them out if you're interested. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, probably next week Friday. Love you guys. Bye.